Hello guys, welcome to another episode of my journey. So, one more day in Moldova and today I'm try to experiment with video format. Now I just want to see like wider frame and I put a TV on it. I don't know like if it looks cool or a little bit too distractive. Probably it would be nice uh, if it has a YouTube and I can play around some Minecraft footage. It would be savage, you know, like that kind of TikToks <laughs> where everything is going on. Uh, so uh, basically, I I'm tired. I've been walking today, seeing beautiful sunset, and uh, I don't really know like much to tell. You know, I was just I'm out of thoughts. I don't know like what to tell about today. So uh, I've been in Moldova. I can tell you about Moldova. So Moldova is actually good. It's looking really great, but everything on the streets uh, it's look a bit. How you want to say like ruined or uh, neglected? That's probably the right word. The asphalt, the streets. Sometimes it's not dirty, but you know, like you can see like cracked asphalt everywhere. And I saw a military base, which has buildings that look like abandoned. You know, we had similar in Ukraine, but not as much as here. Not in the capital. And people are nice, and a lot of look, good-looking places, and you know, like you just walking, looking at people. People looking at you, smiling. Not like in UK. I don't know, like UK is completely different. It feels more friendly. Prices are cheaper, of course, than UK, and the food is uh, tastes better. Uh, you know, it, it's a small country, so the population of Kishinev is less than elites that I'm living in. So uh, I, I cannot compare it, you know, like to the capital, like London. Uh, but still, still, it's it's a great experience. It's a really great experience, and it's unique. If you've never been in Eastern Europe, and you want kind of uh, that uh, Euro trip experience, you can go to Kishino, uh, because uh, experience looks fun. And the problems that I face in Kishino is uh, with the taxi. So. There is no Uber, there is no Bolt anymore, and no one pop popular taxi app is not working. Uh, if you have to call a taxi, you have uh, to do it with your local number, because roaming is, doesn't work for me, at least here. So if you call even with local number, you have to say your address by the phone. And sometimes it's hard to pronounce or hard to read address, because you know now I'm trying to get used to that Romanian names, uh, but still, it's not an easy if you're here first time and first day as me. But there is an app called, what is called? Lyft, not the Lyft, just let me check. The app name is Let's. So basically Let's is uh, some kind of uh, Moldovan entrepreneur, 22 year old guy created an Uber clone for Moldova. And I haven't checked it, but looks like Uber and looks good for me. And I see a lot of taxis branded with this brand, so it's uh, quite popular here and uh, it's good to use. So you probably say, oh, not a big deal, I'll download app and we'll use it and get a taxi, right? No, you cannot. <laughs> Why? Because if you don't have a local phone number, uh, you wouldn't just receive an SMS. For example, British number was not accepted at all. It says, like, this number doesn't support it. Ukrainian number accepted, but SMS didn't come. So what I did, I sent them email to support and asked them politely, please, can you just uh, do something with it? And you know what? They sent me a code in email, and I just authorized, and now I can use an app which is really cool. So, life hack, if you cannot use this app, you can just contact their support asking about the issues and they can solve it, which is really great. And uh, I have to admit, as a software engineer, as, uh, you know, like, owner of a company, as the guy who worked a lot of uh, IT companies, that support department works really differently. So, usually support engineers do this. If you write to them with some kind of questions, they trying to do that kind of fuck off stuff. So they try to do this automated answer, or uh, sometimes something need to be fixed, or some need some kind of attention from developer or other guys. So what they do, they just simply telling uh, 
like oh 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 please wait and uh, after a while hoping that you forget about the request and that's happening for for me a lot of times for example on ebay i had ukrainian account registered in ukraine and i want to use uh, loyalty card which is called nectar in uk so i asked if they can change region because i cannot do it and they said yeah yeah yeah, we'll do it like probably it will take one or two three months it been probably a year or more nothing changed and it's very common it's very common uh, in uh, almost big software companies probably apple don't do it because they have a bit different process but mostly all the companies do that so uh, yeah now i can have a taxi because taxi is kind of thing that uh, you know it's not really expensive here and it, it, it's a thing that i would like to use because today for example i was uh, on a bus stop waiting for a trolley bus for my dental appointment and there was no trolley bus and uh, i know like russian people speak in russian on the bus stop and they say well oh something weird we've been waiting for an hour there is no bus it's unusual you know so it wasn't regular situation one woman just uh, start running to a taxi that kind of brand that zap she ordered a cab because she was late and she was running and she ran through some woman and she dropped the phone so they start something like you know like yelling at each other not not, not bad but I just understand they just probably did it in Romanian but I understand like something like look where you're going oh I'm sorry not 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 a big battle you know uh but then just that trolley bus came ah first trolley bus uh, with a proper number came but everyone started to rush to it but it was <laughs> not stopping you know like it just passed through and everyone oh, all right it's probably something happened so it, it because it's empty and the second one was full i cannot just squeeze in you know like full of people and yeah i was uh, almost uh, disappointed i don't know what to do because i can order a taxi but i didn't have a taxi and I, how should i do i was uh, desperate and i i was thinking about asking people like if they can call me a cab which is not really nice but uh, at the end yeah and i was thinking i can i can walk it's uh, like 45 or one hour minute walk I, I thought like wait, i'll better just take a walk than you know like waiting for a bus if i know like something like that coming but if I had a taxi app, so I can call a taxi and just sort it out. Or when you're walking somewhere and, you know, like, I don't know, like sketch a neighborhood or you get in a restaurant and you want, like, to get evening late because you don't know the country, you don't want to check it for safety or something, you can just order a taxi, right? So it's, it's good to have. I'll probably check how it works someday because now I don't have a need to order a taxi, but later probably... I will see how it works and uh, yeah the nature looks nice i don't know like the scenery looks good nothing super special here if you're looking for eiffel tower or something like that here is more likely a stone hedge something like can be interesting if you've never been to eastern europe yet yeah, like architecture can be interesting for you but there is not no uh, you know like big tourist wow spots here at least from what i know but there are a lot of parks which looks nice a lot of some soviet buildings which look fancy and uh, you know i have to try some restaurants i i bet they should be good probably smoke some hookah shisha whatever it was called i don't know so uh, i also get a haircut not super but it's all right it cost me 25 usd which is expensive for moldova i think the guy was ukrainian from odessa so probably he overcharged me I, I i wouldn't be telling but that's all right if he's from odessa i respect that so uh, moldova is not so bad and uh, the one thing that i just forgot i was walking to the supermarket which is like 30 minutes walk and on the way back there was a good sunset and i just didn't take my camera with me because i can make a good photos i just made a photo on my phone but it looks so silly you see even my sc in my screen is not what is called hydrophobic uh, anymore 
so it's a touch fingerprint because I have some kind of glass. I'm also thinking about changing my iPhone 11, not because iPhone 11 is just bad. I would say iPhone 11 is still keeping up, it's a good phone and there is no reason to buy it, especially if I have a cameras which are more better and professional, you know, like doing photos than any iPhone. But uh, the thing is that it's an old, I bought it when it just came out, so and there is a reason with that. So, for example, the battery doesn't work, uh, doesn't work for a long time, and I would like to get a new battery. And also, sometimes when I charge it, but I think it's probably a cable issue. It tells that there is water, but there is no water. I just dry it out. So I clean charging port. I buy some uh, alcohol spirit, and uh, I just clean the charging cable. And now it looks okay. It looks great, but. You know, like this happened to me when I was in airport, when I was trying to figure out the things with uh, applications to get a taxi, to get to this apartment. And then I just realized that, you know, it can be really, really sketchy. So in some situations, because I don't have printed ticket, for example, right? And if I came to airport and I need to show my ticket, so probably the worst scenario, I'll pay money for printing it because they have my passport data and they can find it. But this with air, it's a uh, low cost airline, they charge you for every your mistake. Yeah, and you know, like sometimes I use, most of the times I use Apple Pay. I, I don't remember pin codes for my credit cards. And uh, if it stopped working, so I have to use cash, which I don't have a lot, you know. So yeah, some, some, some kind I rely on my phone as every of us. Also, I use GPS and other things so I easily get, can get lost and like for example the taxi app if you need to call it so it would be nice to have my phone reliable so I'm thinking about replacing it but I don't want to buy iPhone 15 I would probably wait for iPhone 16 I don't really like iPhone I mean like iPhone 15 is alright but there is not not nothing new like I mean there is nothing new features they meant just like as Apple logs yeah they make some kind of things for filmmaking which is good uh, but it's the same time I, I have a camera that so costs a lot more than a phone that has a lot better lens than a phone why why do I need that you know and uh, I would like probably to wait to iPhone 16 probably they just create something that will make me a decision to buy or oh, I'll buy it because my phone is old anyway but I would say iPhones uh, at the same time like people hating iPhones they have, they have a reason, yeah, but iPhones is really good at uh, reliability because uh, a lot of old iPhones is still supported with new software updates and you can still use them, which I cannot tell about Androids, especially about, you know, like budget Androids. After one or two years, there is no updates and a lot of times I remember I cannot install new version of Android. For example, I bought HTC with Android 2 and uh, then came up Android 4 and I cannot install it. And at some moment, every app was just asking for Android for minimum version. And I need to do like custom firmware and stuff because there was no official release, you know. That's why just, yeah, Apple looks better. But probably something changed from that time. Probably like, you know, like European countries made some standards so they, they have to upgrade these phones, I don't know. But that, that's my thoughts about mobile phones. So if you're looking to buy a mobile phone, just Buy, buy whatever you like, I be fair, like, they do the same functions, a bit different interface, yeah, but usually I, when I buy iPhone, yeah, I use it from the box, when I buy Android phone, I just uh, flash a custom firmware, I can, because I cannot do it on iPhone, and uh, on Android there are a lot of shitty stuff that I don't like, for example, and Samsung, they try to pre-install with a lot of apps, and probably you would say like not a big deal right but when you update through google update right through google play when you update your applications the phone it updates pre-installed apps and the problem is that when it updates that pre-installed apps it eats all your memory because it instead of uh, rewriting application as with uh, installed from google play it just creates a copy of this application 
So you have an application and updated copies and updated copy of updated copy and like it goes like this. And then you just find out that you don't have a photos, you don't have anything, but uh, your storage is gone. That's usually what happens. That's why I like to root my phone, delete unnecessary shit, or sometimes delete all the apps and install it over from, you know, like from Apple stores. And then they doesn't eat memory like that. And also there are a lot of other tweaks that need to do like to uh, phone to work properly for me. But at the same time, it has a lot more abilities to customize your launcher, customize everything. But everything is so 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 if you use official like uh, launcher i don't know like what samsung uses it's, it's all right within xiaomi but if you flash custom launcher if you install custom launcher there is like two types shitty one or paid one <laughs> so you have to buy <laughs> to use a proper one so yeah and that's, that's my problem with iphone if i with android phone I like them, but when I buy that phone, I spent weeks or even months playing around and tweaking it. <laughs> and not probably sometimes because I need, because I can. And yeah, probably that is easier with iPhone because they give you no option, you know, like you just buy it, use it, don't like it, buy another phone. And in Android, I just, oh, I don't like that, uh, what is called like Samsung. Uh, launcher Samsung like operating systems that they install I will install different ones and I install and say like oh there is no vibration during the call you know like when someone pick up the phone your phone like brick vibrates so in that case if you call in someone you can just walk the street hold your phone in hand and then it vibrates you know like that the person pick up the phone and you can just put to your ear which is very handy and there is no such thing in iPhone. Probably it's a patent stuff. I don't know. Uh, it was uh, before you can install it using jailbreak and Cydia, but now jailbreak is not a thing anymore for iPhones. So yeah, something like this. So I I I shared a lot of thoughts now, and this video is uh, almost twenty minutes. So the issues that we have with the videos now, because I use DaVinci Resolve and I use plugins to a bit beautify color grade, not the plugins, but effects, right? Uh, it takes a lot of time to render. So it takes more time than the video itself to render because I need to analyze uh, with uh, that effect uh, to it draw a map of my movements and stuff and then do like some things to optimize it. And yeah, it takes some time. And now it's late, I want to go to sleep and I need to spend time to uh, edit video, to render video, to upload video, to make preview, to write description. It's not a lot of time. I use AI to write description usually, so I do my captions, generate my captions and use AI by my captions to write description. Uh, I use a screenshot from a video. I put it on a template in CapCap and write some kind of catchy phrase on it. So that's it. It's not a big deal, but sometimes, you know, like I need to spend time looking into video to take some kind of catchy image that would probably attract you. Uh, then uh, I need to spend some time with generating descriptions because sometimes I don't like what is generated. It's pretty bad sometimes, so I need just, you know, like to get more instructions, edit my prompts, and also with editing, with color grading and things like that. And it takes time. And taking in account this video I do every day. And I have no profit from this. I have no views even. I have no subscribers. Looks silly. <laughs> but that's me. I'm just thinking. Uh, I am, you know, like a big idiot. Or I am a genius. So there's one of those, because uh, I don't know, like I'm 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 not thinking like other people. I just start noticing, like, speaking to people. I'm not thinking the same as other people. I can be an idiot, because <laughs> oh, if I am a genius, 
but doesn't uh, produce any results, so that means that I'm an idiot. <laughs> Thank you guys and see you next video.